If you're looking for hamstring and glute exercises to increase your vertical jump, then you are in the right place because I'm gonna give you three of the best hamstring exercises and three of the best glute exercises in this video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady living life or you afraid to die. But if you don't take that leap, how you know that you can't fly? So I'm just saying. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so that you never miss another video. And comment, jump down below in the comment section if you want a free body weight vertical jump training program. Today's question is from Nolan, who says, Hamstring and glute exercises, please. If possible, body weight exercises. I'm more quad dominant and my hammies are really weak. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you three of the best hamstring exercises for vertical, then I'll give you three of the best glute exercises for vertical, then I'll give you some body weight hamstring and glute exercises to increase your vertical and jump higher. So let's just get started. The three best hamstring exercises for vertical jump. Number one is deadlifts. And this is like a cheat code because deadlifts also work your glutes. But deadlifts work everything on the back side of your body, your entire posterior chain, which is extremely important in increasing your vertical jump and jumping higher. The way to increase your vertical jump is to get stronger and to get faster or in improve your rate of force development. You can do this with deadlifts. It will increase your hamstring strength and it will increase your glute strength and your posterior chain strength as well. So I would do deadlifts if I were you. 100% add those into your plan. The second one that I would do for hamstrings is Nordic curls. And these are a lot of people's least favorite. These are by far my favorite because these are hard and these help you increase your vertical jump tremendously, especially if you do explosive Nordic curls. So I like to to do four sets of 10 Nordic curls. And you could start with a high box or a high pad, like a 24 inch box. And then you can progressive overload down to an 18 inch box, down to a 12 inch box, down to a six inch box. And then finally you could do them on flat. So the way that I like to do these is you can either have somebody hold your feet or you can use a weight belt and you can strap yourself into a bench that works well. Um, as well, or just find anything to hold your feet and then you could do your Nordic curls. That's the second exercise that you should be doing for hamstrings. The third exercise that I think you should be doing for hamstrings is a hip hinge hamstring exercise and it is one leg Romanian deadlifts. Not only does this work on balance, but it works on hamstring strength and glute strength, which is great for vertical jump. So with one leg Romanian deadlifts, you're gonna hold a weight in your hand, start with five pounds and then increase progressive overload only five pounds each week as you get stronger. And you're going to drop your hand down to the ground and lift your opposite leg in the air. And this is great for vertical jumping. Let's move on to the glute exercises. And then at the end of the video, I'll go through hamstring exercises and more glute exercises that you could do if you have no equipment. So I'm going to give you three right off the bat. Monster walks, half moon walks and lateral side steps. Okay, so these work very well with a mini band. If you have a bigger resistance band, you can fold it in half and do it that way. But I find that mini bands work the best for these three exercises. So I will link down below in the description a pack of four mini bands. I like the four pack of these perform better mini bands because you can use the yellow one, which is the easiest. Then you can progress to the green. Then you can progress to the blue. Then you can finally progress to the black, which is the hardest. So for these, I like to do 10 steps forward and 10 steps backwards for the monster walks and the half moon walks, and then 10 steps each direction with the lateral side steps. I like to do three sets of all of those. So these are good for your glute medius. These will help you be more athletic in general, and they'll help you increase your vertical jump. So the mini bands and these glute exercises are extremely good if you want to increase your vertical and jump higher. The last exercise that I'll give you are barbell glute bridges or barbell hip thrust. And these are good because you can load this up pretty heavy and it's a great way to load your glutes and get that loaded hip extension. And this transfers great to a vertical jump. So for these, I would just start with three sets of five reps and go decently heavy and then progressive overload from there. Go three sets of six reps and seven all the way till you get to 10. Then you could do four and then increase the weight from there. So just progressive overload through all of these exercises, making yourself stronger and stronger and stronger. All right, let's get into hamstring exercises without any equipment. I'm gonna cheat on the first one and I'm gonna tell you to do one leg Romanian deadlifts with no weight. 
Okay, these are extremely important for your vertical jump to jump higher and for your hamstring strength overall. So you could do these without any weight. So that's number one. Number two are hamstring walkouts. So what you're gonna do is lie on your back, bend your knees, get your heels as close to your butt as you can, and then slowly take baby steps and walk your feet all the way out and all the way back in. Okay, I would do these for like three sets of eight to 10 reps and they're definitely going to burn up your hamstring. Okay, and then another one you could do is you could do a donkey kick hamstring curl. So what you're going to do for this one is get on your hands and your knees, put one leg up and then keep your legs straight and essentially just do a hamstring curl with one leg. So by you just holding it there is already going to work your hamstring and your glute. And then by doing the hamstring curl and flexing that hamstring is going to work your hamstrings even more. Okay, and then just to give you one extra one since I cheated and gave you one leg RDLs again, you could do a glute bridge hold and put your legs a little bit straighter than normal and this will definitely work your hamstrings this is an isometric movement so start with 30 seconds then move to 45 seconds and then 60 seconds then 90 seconds and then two minutes so there you have it last but not least are three glute exercises without any equipment so if you don't have mini bands or you don't want to get the mini bands a good thing that you could do in place of this of those exercises that's going to work your glute medius are jane fonda leg raises you know, Jane Fonda, the, the fitness trainer. All right, and one, and two, and three. You could do the leg raises, and I would do four sets of 25. Well, I'd start with lower, but aim to go for four sets of 25 reps. Maybe start with three sets of 15 reps and progressive overload up until you get to four sets of 25 reps. But these look easy, but they're going to be burning. And if they're not burning, then you're probably doing them wrong. So these are a good exercise for your glutes without any equipment. The next one would be one leg hip thrust or one leg glute bridges. So you're going to lean on a bench or a box or whatever you have. Put your upper body on your mother's couch or your couch if you have your own and use one leg and then you're going to do one leg glute bridges. And I would start with three sets of 10 reps and then progressive overload from there. And the last exercise you're gonna get in the same position that you did for the isometric hamstring glute bridge hold, but you're going to do glute bridges or hip thrust through three sets of 20 reps or some high rep number so that you feel that burn. Okay, and then that will transfer to your vertical jump and help you jump higher. So ladies and gents, there you have it. Three exercises for hamstrings with weights, three without weights, three exercises for glutes with weights, and three without weights. And all of these will help you jump higher. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to the channel, click the bell if you have not already, comment jump down below for a free vertical jump training program, and take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power, it is only potential power until you take action on what you know. Action is everything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am.